السلام عليكم السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام Sheikh Mehmet, a lot of uh, people want to know a little bit about your background and uh, um, your upbringing. So, uh, could you tell us a little bit about where you were born and where did you study? There's a lot of information about Sheikh Nazim and you know where he was uh, born and what he did in his younger years and his childhood and his uh, you know uh, education. But uh, there's very little information about you, about your background. Where were you born? Where did you study? What did you study? Um, did you work? Yes, uh, um, because um, Mawlana, he, he, they know his story. Yes. He got married in Damascus. Yes. Mother also, she's not. was not from Syria, but I uh, was looking there for holy land, Damascus. So we were born in Damascus, my own uh, sister and my brother, four of us, we were born in Damascus. We studied in Damascus, and I studied in uh, Madrasa, Islam Madrasa in Damascus. It is uh, the most uh, By that time I was a small boy, just I thought it is a normal madrasa. But Maulana, my father, he was special looking all around Damascus and he put me in this madrasa, Fatul Islami, Sheikh Saleh Farpur. And it is the most stronger by knowledge between Islamic world. Yeah, so I studied there. Uh, so, so since you were uh, very young, till um, till how how old were you? Until 17 years, I we was in Damascus. After 17 years, it was uh, this uh, uh, before the big war happened between Arab and uh, Israel, and before 10 days, Grand Sheikh Maulana Sheikh Abdullah he was passed away. So Grand Sheikh Maulana become. And he said, too difficult to stay in Damascus. We stay in Lebanon. Uh, we work in Lebanon. Uh, we have a wholesale or something like this until 25 years. And after he came and he said he must come to Cyprus. So I was with him in Cyprus uh, until uh, now they're going around. So till you were 17 in Syria, you studied in a madrasa. Then mm. you were, you shifted to Lebanon and you started working. Yeah. And you had your own business uh, with your father. No, no, my father did not work okay. at all. We only my and my brother. Okay. First we worked uh, two years with my brother-in-law. They have big shop, and after uh, we was alone with one partner, and it was hamda, baraka, and succeed. But Maulana, he said, must leave this, come to Cyprus. So then when you were 25, uh, you uh, came to Cyprus? Yes. Sir. Right. And uh, then what did you start doing in Cyprus? You started working here also? We tried to work something here, but uh, only in the garden first. After some years, my first wife, she passed away. We married and we moved to Istanbul, and so I worked in Istanbul. So how old were you when you got married the first time? 22. 22. And mashallah, you had one child? No. Two? Four children. Four children from your first wife? No, no. She, she, all uh, from first wife, she, she was uh, kidney uh, in... Uh, she, uh, she was not well? Failure. Okay. So, uh, she, baby, not complete. One and after two, miscarriage. Okay. So one. you had no children from the first wife? No. Okay. Right. So uh, then, uh, when after she passed away, then you uh, married again. Yeah. And how old were you? Thirty years. Thirty years old. And then, mashallah, you had four children. Four children. Yeah. From uh, yeah. your wife. And then, mostly uh, at that time, you were looking after the lands uh, of Maulana and yeah. the gardens and doing a lot of work on the yeah. lands. Um, so, growing up, did you did you um, know or did you feel that you would um, 
have to take over this responsibility? Or what was in your mind when you were growing up? That no, I was... Uh, <laughs> because there was... Uh, I'm never think about this. There are another people, they must be in this position. It's Allah will, I think. Yeah. I will, before I never think about this. What was it like uh, growing up in such a spiritual environment and being under the influence of, um, you know, Sheikh Pakistani and your father? What was it like? It is really good because it's spiritual and uh, this around what area was living it was very uh, terrible area. No, maybe people they thought Damascus it is uh, for heart of Islam, but it was not like this that time. It was all uh, uh, thinking only for pleasure and for no, no praying, nothing. They can steal everything. But alhamdulillah, with Maulana and his baraka, we was safe from this. Even neighbor, they are not coming for Grand Sheikh. People come from long distance, but the neighbor, there wasn't. So alhamdulillah, it was nice days. Even that time, we was happy to be every day after us, we go drink tea and make sofa, and it was very nice. And now we feel it more better, but at that time, it was really... A struggle. Yeah. In, 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 in Syria also and in Lebanon also, there was not so much, uh, there was very modern and not so much towards Islam. And in Cyprus also, was it the same uh, environment in all these three places or different? They are different, different. Each one, they have a special thing. But uh, Lebanon, it was uh, more modern. Damascus not. Poorness. Um, Sheikh Nazim said that towards you know the end, um, we we will all have to shift back to um, Syria. Um, are you planning uh, anything like this, or are you waiting uh, for the um, for the sign? For sign, Mawlana was saying, sign. Even when he last visit for Damascus, he said, Damascus, it come here. Damascus has shifted here. Yeah, he said that. Yes. So no need now to go to the uh, what Maulana, We don't know what after what will happen, what order will come, but until now here. Because the situation now, you know, in Syria and all these places is so terrible. Yeah. Um, what, what do you do? You see the situation improving in in these uh, in these places, or is it going to get worse before it gets better? Of course, uh, there is Qasida uh, there. Instead, the Azmat and Fariji saying you must be more harder to be open. I think it will be like this. It will be open after. It is really very bad. You know, everybody is talking about Trump, and uh, th this is something very new that uh, has come. And uh, how will this impact um, Syria and the Muslim countries? Because obviously, he's coming with, with a very different um, uh, attitude. Um, not to say that the ones before did any good. I mean, uh, the, the previous administration uh, created all these wars in Syria and Yemen and um, all these places. What do you see? Is 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 this uh, a person going to be worse, or is it going to be the same, or uh, will there be a shift because of this? Uh, what is happening in America and with Trump and all? They're saying, uh, Turkish saying. Saying uh, the most terrible enemy who look like friend. Mm -hmm. So they're hypocrites. They were pretending yeah. to be friends. Yeah, but better if he said, "I am again." Yeah, exactly. We can uh, be aware. Yeah. But these people, all time, they're coming. We are 
loving Muslim. This man, his father, grandfather, Muslim, and he's uh, done the worst from beginning. What we say, if Trump coming, is Allah will be not afraid from uh, Trump. We are afraid from Allah. So uh, for, uh, Trump or other, uh, no matter. But Alhamdulillah, he come and he destroy their uh, uh, dreams. Because, uh, you know, every time the, these people, they make a uh, plan for a long uh, period. And he's exposed that. And especially they put this man, they said, this is crazy, he's, nobody he will be win. So putting in front of this lady, she easily she can win, they said. Mm-hmm. But Alhamdulillah, Allah, he make it as he like. And he, inshallah, it will be good for everything Allah done, he, it is good. No need for a threat from Trump. Um, Sheikh Mehmet, what do you see um, uh, for the for uh, Pakistan? Um, there, we're in a very difficult situation right now, um, and uh, there was this big. Um, people getting together against the government, uh, against the corruption, and uh, we had a lot of hope from the army that maybe they would intervene and, uh, you know, um, get rid of these corrupt people, but this did not happen. And um, now we have the elections coming in again, but most people are saying that if nothing changes, then the same people will come back in the next elections. What is the? Uh, what do you see in the future uh, for Pakistan? Is there any hope? What can the Pakistani people do? Who do? Who, who should we support? Um, also, Musharraf, uh, uh, ex-president Musharraf, says that he will be uh, perhaps also um, contesting elections. Uh, is he the person that we should be supporting? Pakistan is a really uh, amazing place. And they have a special idea. <laughs> it is our ideas cannot reach them because they separate from uh, India to be, as like they say, Pak, Pak meaning very clean meaning. Mm-hmm. Pakistan is the cleanest place. The whole Muslim, whole uh, people. Okay, they are Muslim, but they are not uh, afraid from. Allah from haram, from halal, everything uh, they can take. So this is a problem. They must know to be corruption, it is a bad uh, thing. It will ask from in Akhirah. But this, uh, they are not at all thinking about this. Many, we see many uh, people in this, they are, look like Muslims, they have beer, they have egg, but not uh, afraid from to eat uh, haram. This is where most, uh, most people uh, learn in Pakistan. Yes, we have a huge influence of the Taliban and the Wahhabi funded mosques and they've brainwashed a lot of people um, towards this direction. And we um, had certain people like Musharraf and the army who was saying that we will do a uh, um, clean it out and we will fight these people and the corruption. But um, there was a lot of hope from General Rahil Sharif, but now he's uh, retired and a new person has come in. And then there was hope from the Supreme Court, but apparently the Supreme Court is also not delivering. Pakistan people are very, very uh, frustrated and very um, confused, and uh, they, you know, they they need some direction. Well, they have uh, something like uh, selfishness. The leaders, you mean? The uh, all people also. The, the common people. Yeah, also. Even the street. You see, he throw garbage. Uh, others say he throw. I throw. So why I will clean? Uh, he doing this. He make this wrong thing. I must do thing. Same like this. So what Allah said? Kama takuni wala alikum. How you are? Allah send you somebody like you. 
to they are not coming from uh, another country not from moon or from mars they are come they are this people uh, uh, children so unfortunately this is what uh, they must uh, they have many madrasa many ulama many uh, but this uh, selfishness is uh, real uh, i don't know if you recognize but it is in this uh, they have ignorance and selfishness mm. so they will just need to suffer till they learn uh, this must be <laughs> Must no hopeless. Must be first to teach this uh, ulama to teachers and other to bring good people. Please come to Pakistan yes. and teach them something. Yes. <laughs> you promised 2018. Now we're waiting for you to come and and uh, and teach and 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 bring some positive energy to our country. We very much need it. Um, Masha, we have many Murid Pakistan. They are good people, but they must uh, uh, learn this, to control ego, uh, not to follow their ego. Please pray for us and uh, all the good people in Pakistan who are suffering. Um, there are also good people, and of course, everywhere. Um, there is a um, prophecy about Ghazwai Hind, that the, the Mahdi will only come after Hind and Sindh has been uh, converted to Islam. Um, do you see this happening? Uh, uh, this, uh, and what does it mean, Ghazwai Hind? Uh, now what they are saying, many time can uh, be changed or can be uh, say it uh, another way. So we don't know how it will be this. Allah knows. But inshallah, uh, the most, uh, what happened in, now in the world, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Harj Marj, is everybody coming, now everybody knows what happened. It is, it look like a time for Mahdi Alayhi Wasallam to come, but we don't know how many years. Did, did uh, Sheikh Nazim say that um, Musharraf is one of, the, uh, one of the generals in Mahdi's army and that he has a role in the future of to unite India and Pakistan and uh, do you see that maybe he still has a role or did he have a chance um, and he messed up the chance? Sometimes it, was, it is like this uh, messed up chance because you know many people, Maulana, he, there was very uh, small politician and he said something to them and then they are not listening so they missed uh, I don't know, maybe for Musharraf the same. You're not sure whether... Uh, because I, didn't, uh, I wasn't here that time when Maulana met him here. Mm. And if what uh, happened is in 2001, he was in Pakistan. We met the uh, president. He was Tar. He's a alim, I think. He's, he's a beer in Karachi. And he must... They were saying, maybe we can meet Musharraf yes. in Islamabad. But that time, he was, has something. Some uh, other meeting. Some other meeting. So he didn't meet. Yes. For this karam of Mawlana, he bring him and to his. <laughs> yes. Then he came himself yeah. in 2004, I think, or 2003, or later. No, it was, uh, came here. Uh, oh, after he, uh, he was... Yes, yes. Uh, yes, he was uh, Maybe removed. 10 or 11 yes. or something like this. He was uh, forced to come. And at that, in that meeting, Maulana also gave him some advice, which perhaps he didn't understand correctly because he perhaps didn't follow it correctly. Yeah, I think so many times people not uh, taking after the uh, saying, Shaykhi was saying this and remembering, but after finish. Uh, so do you have any advice for him, uh, for Musharraf? Is there any way that he can um, regain the uh, spiritual favor and support? Uh, is there something he can do to make amends? It is intention to be good, 
and to make real to clean corruption from not looking this is my friend this is my nephew don't say anything for everybody it must be same maybe inshallah if intention like this Allah by the of this people inshallah he can be also but he must be put his intention to do this to just be sincerely only yeah. looking for the country yeah, and not him yeah, his because own. really I, for, since 15 years other than go I hear it was become hundred times worse than before when we was in before 15 days uh, years ago in Pakistan of course when he was uh, there it was still stable it was still good yeah. now the uh, even electricity they said no electricity yes and uh, we've got taken so many loans and everything uh, we've given, um, uh, you know, in mortgage. <laughs> the country is being completely destroyed from the inside, you know. Um, uh, but now they are uh, in Pakistan, they have the CPEC with China and this, um, they're talking about the route, uh, you know, to, and, and they're saying that maybe the CPEC will uh, bring prosperity. What do you feel about uh, the Chinese influence in, in world politics right now um, and Putin and Russia and this whole This is not important. Uh, important to be, uh, if you're uh, Baraka, with halal, not with haram. You can do with Chinese, with uh, Jewish, with uh, Russia, with everybody you can do work. But you must be honest and to be good for your people, not to, for your pocket only. But how do we, uh, how do we uh, ensure that our politicians and our leaders um, are doing halal and are not doing corruption? Uh, this is from uh, what happened in the country, it's uh, appear. But it is not uh, difficult to say. So the people should just rise up and demand? No, no, and no, 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 people, they must. Uh, Mawlana was saying, don't go on street. If you want to go, go mosque, make dua first. Uh, make yourself uh, also to be good people. Allah will send good people for you. Inshallah. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. you. Uh, Allah, inshallah, give these uh, people, good people also, to give uh, who are in Allah open forgiveness door until sun rising from west. So inshallah, it's open who are doing this and he want to make uh, uh, Forgive, ask forgiveness for Allah. Allah forgive him. Inshallah, this old politician to Allah, him, his spirit, his spirit, give him inspiration to make tawbah and to make uh, istighfar and to for people also to be in the right way. Allah send us good people and barakah and good life. Inshallah, Fatiha.